I'm sorry, I was looking for Cole. What were you saying about Langston? Marco, it's good to see you. I guess it's none of my business, but you sounded kind of mad. At Dorian. You know, don't you, that she stole our family company? Yeah. But I don't see why that has anything to do with Langston. Well, I'm a little worried about Langston, because things are going to get uh, a little rough. And why? Because I can't let this go without a fight. And you think it's going to hurt Langston? Well, the thing is, she's going to see a side of Dorian that is uh, not flattering, and I hope that Langston doesn't get hurt by that happening. Right. No, but that's not what you said. You said you had to use Langston to get at Dr. Lord. What did you mean by that? Son, I think you misunderstood me. I'm not going to do anything to hurt Langston. Good. Now, Clint wouldn't do anything like that, would you, Clint? Look, I'm sorry if I overstepped my bounds, but uh, sometimes I just worry about... Oh, Langston, excuse me. Hello? Wow. That was incredibly smooth, Buchanan. I mean, you just lied to that kid like it was nothing. How are you sleeping these days, big guy? I was actually just talking about you. You're not even going to believe what just happened. Could we talk about this later? What's there to talk about, Clint? Your mind's already made up. No way. Dorian's really going to adopt you? Oh, that's awesome. Girls, I want you to sit down, because what we have here is a, a very serious and solemn moment. And I think we should have an enormous blowout. Like a party? A gala. Oh, I mean something okay. really <laughs> ostentatious. OK, but maybe don't you think you should just. What, no, 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 wait a minute. If I can throw a wedding in six hours, you just wait and see what I'm going to do with this. <laughs> just do wait. Happy days are here again. Marco, I'm very happy for Langston. Oh, me too. It's been a rough year for her. Well, it'll be nice for her to have some stability in her life now, won't it, Clint? Look, uh, could you tell Cole to give me a call? Langston wants me to come over and celebrate. Sure, absolutely. Thanks. You know, I'm sorry you and Dr. Lord are so mad at each other. Because this proves what a great person she is. Doesn't it? Ah, yes, the irony of it all, isn't it? For once in her life, Dorian has done something completely decent. I mean, totally selfless. And it makes her even more vulnerable to you. Would you consider keeping your opinions to yourself? Eh, apparently not. Look, I know this could turn out well for me. This could help me. But it could also make Langston's life a little easier, too. Your concern for Langston? Heartwarming. She's not going to lose Dorian. We just have to make Dorian think that she could lose Langston. God, you can justify anything, can't you? And you can belittle anything. Nash Brennan, my son-in-law, who I was very fond of, Nash is dead because of Dorian. And I just saw my daughter today. And Jessica's not going to get over this anytime soon because of Dorian. I have lost Buchanan Enterprises, and my family is in shreds because of Dorian. Now, tell me again why I should stand here and do nothing. OK, I get it. I get it, Clint. I do. And there's just, there's just about nothing that I wouldn't do to help you out here. But please, I want you to remember your beef is with, is with Dorian, not with Langston. When I get B.E. back, when I get Buchanan Enterprises back, Dorian and Langston can live happily ever after. Things are never that simple. This is so great. <laughs> and thank you. Oh. <laughs> Get used to it, Mom. He's a hugger. <laughs> oh, OK. One more. <laughs> oh, Mom. That sounded so good. Ha, <laughs> ha,